Did you know that some Zionists considered establishing a Jewish homeland right in the middle of the US? In 1825, Mordecai Manuel Noah, a Jewish American diplomat and one of the founding fathers of modern Zionism, bought around 10 square kilometers of land in the state of New York to found the settlement. The project was called the Jewish state of Ararat, in reference to Mount Ararat, where Noah's Ark rested after the flood, according to the Bible. Located on Grand Island, close to the Canadian border, the colony was supposed to become a refuge for the Jews of all nations fleeing persecution. But the project met with failure. Ararat lacked support from the Jewish community, and Noah was accused of swindling money from European Jews. By the end of his life, Noah ended up supporting the idea of colonizing Palestine, and he refused to oppose slavery. He inspired territorialist Zionists, who believed in the Jewish homeland outside of Palestine. At the end of the 19th century, following his example, this group supported the establishment of a Jewish state in multiple parts of the world, such as Kenya in Eastern Africa, Cyprus Island, the Sinai Desert in Egypt, and Argentina in South America. But this movement disappeared in 1948, with the foundation of the State of Israel.